So let's take a bit of a sneak peek of some of the things we'll talk about in this course. In this course, we'll be talking about folks who don't have typical hearing. So let's hear what speech sounds like when you have a hearing loss. Um, we'll start with a mild or normal, then we'll move to mild, then moderate, then severe. You can prevent hearing loss by keeping away from loud noise. Wear mild. earmuffs, earplugs, or other hearing protection whenever you're around loud sounds. Moderate. Loud noise causes permanent hearing loss. A high severe. hearing loss makes it difficult to understand conversation. I want to show you how even with a mild hearing loss, it can be pretty hard to participate in the hearing world. So I'm going to play this speech again with a mild hearing loss, and then I'm going to play around with adding some different kinds of background noises. And then I'm going to play around with the signal to noise ratio. Basically, I'm going to make it so that you, it sounds like you're closer to that female voice or closer to that background noise. You can prevent hearing loss by keeping away from loud noise. Wear earmuffs, earplugs, or other hearing protection whenever you're around. Loud noise causes permanent hearing loss. A high frequency hearing loss makes it difficult to understand conversations. A hearing test or audiogram helps find any unusual changes in your hearing. So there were probably conditions where it was a little bit easier and a little bit harder to hear that speech. Now I showed you that exercise because I think it makes some of these questions that we'll answer in this course a little bit more salient. So we'll talk about what's in a name. What does it even mean to be deaf with a capital D or lowercase d, hard of hearing, and other titles you might hear? We'll talk about different types of technologies that exist to improve hearing in folks who are deaf or hard of hearing. We'll discuss whether it's possible to be trained to hear or understand speech better, and if so, how that's possible. We'll talk about not just what deaf or hard of hearing can do to improve communication, but also the people around them and what we can do in the environment to make speech easier to understand. We'll also talk about SLPs and audiologists and the role of being a counselor, because counseling is part of our profession. And that looks really interesting in our rehabilitation. We'll also talk about all of those things and more in the context of what oral rehabilitation looks like from the youngest of kids, newborns, all the way through the end of life. This course is set up in an eight week term. So you'll have eight modules that will focus on one particular unit. Within that module, you'll have readings from your textbooks and different articles or other sources that I think are really interesting. You'll watch lecture videos from me. I'll provide you with slides so that you can take notes. You could also control the uh, speed of my lectures if you're somebody who wants to just get through them really quickly and can process that quickly. If you're somebody who likes to play them really slow and take no really dedicated notes, you can do that. I'll also provide you with videos from other sources that I think illustrate concepts really well. And then I'll expect you within each module to do some combination of the following, some quiz and or assignment and or discussion board post. I'll give you some sort of prompt. I'll ask you to respond to that prompt. And then so that we're still having interaction between students in the class, you will comment on um, fellow students' posts. I hope to see you in the course um, and look forward to learning with you. Take care.